The Japes family episode from season 1, episode 2 was honestly quite bland. And the whole episode was missing that amusement aspect that it needed. The episode was centered on this overweight father with his three overweight sons. And the host, Steve Miller, starts off by making them recognize the damage that they are doing to their bodies by eating all that processed crap. No signs of slimming down. These big belly bachelors live together in their dad's pad in Eastbourne. Come in there, look at that. They exist on processed food and takeaways, cramming in mammoth mouthfuls of junk food every day, stuffing their faces, even when it puts their lives in danger. If I don't lose weight, I'm more than likely to have a heart attack before I'm 30. It is a choice between life and death, basically. I'm Steve Miller, a no-nonsense fat buster, and I'm on a mission to turn these slobs from oversized chunks into healthy hunks. One of the sons said that they sometimes eat processed foods until they are sick. Now, I couldn't tell if he meant physically or mentally or both. Sometimes there's only one way for that excess food left to go. I have sometimes eaten to uh, the point where I am physically sick. That is a whopper. Oh, yeah. How many um, slices of bacon do you put on that roll? Eight. A full pack. A full pack. A full pack of bacon on that, and it goes in. No problem at all. This is unbelievable. One of those jumbo Jeep Sarnies clocks up a colossal 1,250 calories. That's half the number of calories a man should eat in a whole day. And it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Your breakfast is served, sir. Well, when in Rome, whilst I get my chops around a Jeep's bumper bacon butty, I want to know how serious these boys really are about shedding the stones. Do you want to lose weight, guys? I need to lose weight in the next three months, otherwise I... The activities that they did throughout the episode caused the episode to become quite dull. And Steve Miller basically emulates what the family eats and eats a whole ass load of snacks while watching a football game in the living room with the family. And Back in the house, it's time for Sunday lunch, Jeep style. And that means junk food, beer and football. Yes! Yes! And as I'm living by their rules for the day, I've got to tuck in the family way. Hang on a minute. Is that chocolate dipped in salsa? Oh, go on then. Can I get away with that? Is that all right? Is that all right? <laughs> then talks about portion control like usual. Then Steve Miller does a classic living room conversion where he replaces all the living room furniture with gym equipment. And the oh, I've walked into a gym. That's um... is it. Where am I supposed to sit? Well, I don't know, Mark. Perhaps on the bikes I've provided for you. The family members a few weeks later managed to lose a lot of weight because they ate less and moved more. And for me, there was a little too much emotion in this episode, which is in my forte. But Steve Miller maintains a decent job with the dialogue throughout the episode. 